Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a really good problem. It's a limit with an indeterminate form, but a lot of students struggle with the algebra for this. And algebra is the main obstacle for students doing well in Calculus 1. So let's go through each step and take our time. Now first, we're always gonna check for an indeterminate form. Here we're plugging in x as two. And if you check your numerator, you get one over two squared. So one over four minus one over four, that's zero. And then in your denominator, you get two minus two, which is zero. All right, so we have an indeterminate form, but now we think of which algebraic trick we wanna apply. Now I'm gonna think that there is one that is obvious. We have two fractions in the numerator that we're subtracting. We subtract fractions when they have a common denominator. So here, let's go ahead and go through the fourth trick of using a common denominator. Now let's go through that work first for combining the numerator, one over x squared minus one over four. All right, it looks like here, your common denominator that will work is four x squared. So take your first fraction multiply and divide by four, and then your second fraction, multiply and divide by x squared. Now you should have a common denominator, four x squared, and you're left with subtracting the numerators, four minus x squared. All right, now that's part of the difficulties here Fractions shouldn't be a problem for Calculus 1 students, but sometimes algebra was a while ago, so there we go. The other part we're going to notice is we're going to be left with, if we plug that in, this is the numerator, we're still going to be left with fractions within fractions. And a nice tip I always like to mention to my students is instead of dividing by this quantity, instead of dividing by x minus 2, you can multiply by the reciprocal we're gonna multiply equivalently by one over x minus two. So let's rewrite this. X is still approaching two for the limit, but instead of dividing by x minus two, we're gonna multiply by one over x minus two. And what that's multiplying is here, the numerator, which we simplified to this. It's still a fraction, but at least now we have no more fractions within fractions. So we simplify that to four minus x squared all over four x squared. All right, now again, thinking through your different ideas from algebra, x minus two looks like it might be a factor if the order were switched in the numerator. x squared minus four is a difference of squares. So let's see if we can just factor out a negative to get the order to switch. So a second bit of algebra, we're gonna take four minus x squared. And just to make the factorization as simple as possible, let me factor out a negative. All right, so if I factor out a negative from a positive four, distribute that back in, that's gonna have to multiply negative four. And if we're factoring out negative one, we'll be left with in parentheses plus x squared. All right, and here, the order of addition, I can switch. I'll keep the negative out front, but I'll write the part in parentheses as x squared plus negative four, which is the same thing as x squared minus four. And that should make the rest of the algebra really simple. Notice here, we can factor that that's now easy to factor as a difference of squares, x plus two times x minus two. And now we just need to plug that back in and you can see the x minus two factors are gonna cancel. So let's plug that back up in there for the numerator for four minus x squared. We still have the limit as x approaches two of one over x minus two, and now times, we rewrote that numerator as negative 
x plus 2 times x minus 2. And we didn't do anything with that denominator, 4x squared. All right, we're almost done. Since we're taking a limit as x approaches 2, x never equals 2. So we can go ahead and cancel out the factor of x minus 2, which was giving us the indeterminate form. And what we're left with here is the limit as x approaches 2 of a very simple function, negative times x plus 2. and then divided by 4x squared. And at this point, since there's no more indeterminate form, you can just plug in x as 2. And if we're just careful with the basic math here, it looks like we're going to get negative 2 plus 2, so negative 4 in the numerator. And then in your denominator, 2 squared, 4 times 4, 16. Looks like we can cancel that out to get negative 1 fourth for our limit. And again, this was a really good problem since it involves a lot of the difficult ideas from algebra that students in Calculus 1 tend to struggle with. Little bit of factoring here, little bit of combining fractions with a common denominator, and working with fractions within fractions, what are called complex fractions. Hope you learned a lot from this video. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.